Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at passage in Traveler and what that means. There are different types of passage, high, middle, low, there's a few others. We're going to take a look at what those passages mean. And for completeness, I'm going to go ahead, or accuracy I guess I want to say, I want to go ahead and I'm going to use it out of the 2022 rule update set from Mongoose. I'm doing this simply because this is the most current uh, iteration of the rules for what the passages are and do. Uh, it's a little grittier than some of the old definitions of passage. I'll talk a little bit about the differences between the old and the new. Uh, and we're just going to talk about what it means to be taking a middle passage in Traveler. So today, passages in Traveler on page 121. So for today's look at passages, we're going to go to the Traveler Core Rulebook Update of 2022. It's the latest iteration of the Traveler rules as of the filming of this video. We're going to go to page 158 under Starship Operations, and there we have Passengers. This goes in a lot of detail about what it would be to be operating the ship and have passengers or to be a passenger. Now, to be clear, there are a lot more articles that are on this topic that have been published over the years. Today, I'm just going to take a look at what each type of passage is, uh, and then we're going to talk about how it was in the older books and I'm not going to really do a ton of compare and contrast to the older. I just want to give an idea of what it would be like to be aboard a starship at whatever travel level you were uh, traveling at. So here we have the passengers level within the Imperium. goes into five overarching categories. High, middle, basic, working, and low. And the passage will take between one and three weeks to deliver the passenger to your destination. That's allowing the time to fly out of the world for a week in jump space, and then travel to the destination world. So that time can vary, and that's up to your individual uh, jump. Um, now, this goes into a little bit in the uh, pa the prospect of finding passengers is more in the trade chapter, but you should be aware that passengers uh, should be, you know, can be brought on your ship even if you're just hauling cargo. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. High passage. This is the top dollar ticket. This is the deluxe package with all the accommodations, the all-inclusive. The passenger gets the best possible treatment. The passenger receives a stateroom and one ton of cargo space for baggage. and ex can expect high-quality entertainment. One level of steward skill is required for every 10 high passengers. So this is your luxury cruise. If you're going to be in space for one to three week, or two to three weeks, you may as well be comfortable while you do it. Pretty neat. I've had players who have had high passages for reasons. Uh, this can be a lot of fun. Great opportunities for role playing because you're in the high passage. You could meet this high roller, that high roller, this media star, this business mogul, whatever. If uh, you saw the video on mega corporations I did a week or so ago, you also know that uh, there would be people from mega corps who would be traveling at this level. You could meet some of those. It's a great way to introduce an adventuring hook. You can also uh, be awarded a high passage uh, as a reward for a job well done, or perhaps you're going covert and you're traveling as a high passenger. A lot of different ways to do it. Middle passage. Middle passage is basically your flying coach. Uh, you're generally sold to on a standby basis, so middle passengers can be bumped by high passengers who arrive later. Many ships will uh, only take middle passengers if they cannot fill staterooms. Uh, so basically, if they can't book the entire flight, they'll go ahead and they'll let the middle passengers uh, fill up the rest. So this is your discount way to fly. You don't get nearly the accommodations of high passage. In fact, you only get 100 kilograms of baggage allowance, and then one level of steward skill is required for every 100 middle passengers. A traveler with steward zero can provide suitable services for 10 middle passengers. Yeah, it's not uh, uh, top of the line uh service there. That's just getting it done, getting you the clean fork when you need it. You might have to wait a little bit for your food, that kind of thing. Now we go to basic package, also called steerage. That's where the ship's captain tries to fill all available space with low-paying passengers. Generally considered more trouble than it's worth for the captain, there's nearly always someone desperate enough to use basic package uh, passage. Two basic passengers can be crammed into one stateroom, and other areas of the ship can be kitted with simple bunks to carry more. Two tons of space is required 
For every basic passenger not in the stateroom, you get 10 kilograms of baggage. That's not much. A basic package is pretty neat. That's uh, something that my players have done with their ship if they have a cargo load, but they still have uh, some room aboard the ship. They've sold a basic pa passenger too. And again, that's a great adventure hook. The guy that takes the basic package is on the run from the law. Uh, you don't know that when you take him. Uh, this could actually apply a lot to Firefly type games. Uh, a basic package like that would, would be very appropriate for that style of game. Then we get a working package, which is kind of interesting. Uh, this is a newer one in uh, this, this issue of the book. I, this might have been a Mongoose 1, but I know it's in Mongoose 2. Uh, working passage is identical to middle passage, this guy down here. But you pay part of your way by serving on board ship in some capacity, usually, usually fulfilling one of the crew positions. So they're short, uh, they're down one guy in engineering. You can save a buck by serving as a, an engineer for a shift a day while you're aboard the ship. And that pays your passage, hence working passage. It's not a bad way to go. You still get a decent amount of luggage and uh, you get some amenities when you're off duty. Low passage, the scary, scary way to travel. A uh, good example of low passage would be in the fourth Alien film, uh, where the frozen passengers are brought to the facility and used to incubate new aliens, new xenomorphs. So for low passage, low passage is frozen in a low berth, and you count as cargo. This the real. There's a real danger in this passage, uh, in that you might not live. There has to be a medic on hand to revive you, and... Uh, you have to make a difficulty check. A further DM of plus one is applied to the ship if it's 12, tech level 12 or higher. Non-humans suffer a DM minus two. I've actually altered that rule because it's a module that is created for a non-human and presumably you will have medical staff on hand that can deal with a non-human. Now that being said, if either of those two things is not true, you don't have the proper equipment or you don't have the proper personnel, then I do apply the DM of minus two. Uh, and an emergency low berth, if you were ill or poisoned or something, uh, it's a mi difficulty modifier minus one. So that can be a problem. If the check has failed, the passenger does not survive. Here's the part that actually really hooked me into Traveler when I first read the LBBs back in the day. It is customary for the ship's captain con to contribute 10 credits from every low passage towards a lottery in which each low passenger randomly guesses how many will survive the trip. If the winner is among the dead, the captain keeps the prize. The lottery is administered by a ship's steward. I just thought that was really cool. Uh, what a cold, callous way to make an extra buck for the captain or the passengers. They're literally risking their lives, but when they get there, maybe they'll have a few extra credits. I just read that back in the old LBBs, and it, it just really just caught my imagination. Now, going back to uh, passage, uh, in the original Traveler, we had high passage, middle passage, and low passage. We only had the three. And we had, uh, they were basically very close to what they are here. But if you were a member of the Traveler's Aid Society, which you could get back in the old days as a mustering out benefit, not only was that worth a million credits to get the Traveler's Aid Society membership, but you also got a high passage every one month or two months, depending on which version of the rules you're using, that you could sell. And you also got accommodations that, again, depending on the rules, you got a week's worth of accommodations that you could sell. I had a player, actually two players, uh, over two different campaigns, but one per campaign, get the Traveler's Aid Society membership as a mustering out benefit. Their wealth was real and far outstripped the players. It l removed a lot of the uh, struggling to get by, making payment kind of end of the game because the player always had extra cash he could fall back on. While that's wonderful in real life, it doesn't make for gritty science fiction traveling. So I kind of like what Mongoose has done with the Traveler's Aid Society now, where it's not always A-plus accommodations. There are different levels of membership, and you can uh, some of the stuff you get is not as great as other stuff. If you're on a planet that has lesser hotels and things, then the TAS facility there is just not as good as a tech level 14 high population worlds would be. Uh, it's kind of neat. I like that it differentiates between the world, the tech level, and everything else. And it's that kind of uh, dialing in that I have really enjoyed in my emergence into Mongoose Second Edition. So again, I'm an old grizzled traveler who's been doing this for 40 years, who thought he didn't need the new books. And again, I'm finding new things 
that make me say, no, I'm wrong. I, I can use the new books. So not a plug for Mongoose, just a, a statement from an old gamer who has learned a lesson about not assuming that just because you had the 1979 version of something that you didn't need the more current version. So uh, that's all I really want to say about Passengers and Passage today. Uh, this is at request of a viewer. Wanted to know more about the actual way that the travelers can travel if they don't own their own ship. Uh, and also you can own your own ship, be carrying cargo and taking some passengers as well. Great adventure hooks to be had all the way around. As I said, the basic pack passage guy that gets aboard your uh, far trader and turns out to be wanted by the law and can be a great adventure hook for you and your game. So that's all I've got to say today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions uh, for future videos. This video was a suggestion from a viewer. So if there are any other uh, suggestions, please let me know. I will always look at them, and if I can, I will do them. And that's all I've got to say today for page 121. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you next time.